Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're asking the question, can I trust my intuition in this matter? And this was a special request from one of the viewers. And the way in which I interpret this is, uh, is the voice that you're hearing, is that feeling that you're getting, is it actually your intuition? And should you take the advice that you're getting? So for instance, if you feel that uh, this person is your love or your twin flame or your uh, or you feel that this person's going to get together with you, uh, can you actually trust that that's going to happen? Or rather, can you trust that this what you're feeling is the truth and it's not just something that you've conjured up in your mind or you just not it's not just what you want, but it is actually what is. So um, there's just three decks today. It's the one, two, and three. We're using Sibylla cards. I'm going to be clarifying them with uh, a Lenormand deck here. So I ask you to make your selection and you can go down to the description box and you'll find the timestamp there and then you go directly to your reading. And so I shall begin. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the first deck, the question you are asking is, can I trust my intuition in this matter? Okay, so these cards tell me that there's a chance that you will have a visit and you will have a reconciliation and this is what you're hoping for. There's a part of you that's hoping that after some conversation, after some somebody hears perhaps of something regarding you, that they will visit you and there will be a reconciliation. So you're hoping that, you know, they may hear something from you while talking to somebody else or they may hear something from you uh, from the internet or from stalking you online or um, in, in whichever way and that would lead to them coming to you visiting you making an effort to see you and that would lead to reconciliation so I'm going to clarify with these cards here what is actually happening Okay, so here what I'm seeing is that um, it's going to be a long time before you get a message from this person, okay? So if you're expecting that this is going to happen anytime soon, the then you it's not really the case, okay? I feel that this is a yes answer, just to answer the question bluntly. Uh, it is a yes answer because I see a reconciliation here and I feel that this is something that this person here, you, the querent, is very heavily invested in. And you're willing to stick into uh, to stay with it in the long term. You're in it for the long haul, and you expecting a message, or you're expecting to hear something. You're expecting some good news coming in your way, and in fact, um, there will be a visit uh, from the person that you're expecting, and there will be some kind of reconciliation. So I want to say that um, the answer is yes, uh, but it won't be exactly as you expect it to happen. It, and it will take a very long time before this happens. Um, it'll take a, a long time before, uh, and there will be talk, there will be talk like there is here, perhaps um, with this person talking to their friends or ch ch talking to, uh, getting some advice from a professional or talking to their family members about it and their family members talking amongst each other as well or friends talking amongst them, each other there will be all of that and it will take a really long time before a letter comes forth or a message comes forth and um, I see that you have the hope here and you have this um, just this really good feeling in your heart that it's going to work out and that it's going to be fine 
and uh, whatever the situation is, it's like you holding your lucky charm, so to say, and um, you're crossing your fingers, you're waiting for this person to come by. But the difference here is it's not going to happen in a short time span. It's going to take a while and you might not see this person. Uh, you might only receive a message from them. And um, it's not necessarily going to lead to a reconciliation. It's more likely to be a message of some sort. Um, I'm just going to ask if there is going to be a reconciliation and see what we get. And there we have something. So we see something, somebody riding forth here, and it could be riding in the direction of you, or it could be riding in the direction of um, uh, in a way, it could be riding away. So I'm actually going to get clarity for this. And there's a decision to be made. Okay, so that clarifies it for me. So this person, because I had a bit of uncertainty here, this person needs to make a decision about whether they, you know, which direction they choose to ride in. So you will hear from them because they are intending on sending you a message. Uh, it will take some time until you, they send you this message. And I think your prayer or your wishing for it is what's going to enable it to happen ultimately. Uh, and this person... Uh, in order to be able to send this message, in order to be able to uh, step forward in any way, needs to make a decision about which direction they want to go in. They haven't made this decision as yet. When they've made a decision, they are going to act upon it. Okay, so uh, it's not clear that there's going to be reconciliation. This is something that I'm seeing that you are, it's wishful thinking on your part, okay, that you meet, that there's reconciliation. Uh, it's going to be a long time before there's a message from this person and they still have to decide. So I can't tell you what they're going to decide because they haven't decided as yet. So, yeah, that's uh, what I'm finding here. And I'm reading this, um, you know, these cards from a, from a situation uh, like a love perspective. Uh, but it also could be that you're wondering whether, the, you know, somebody is going to come back to you or, or what's going to happen and you're hoping that they come by and visit perhaps it's an old neighbor perhaps it's a work colleague uh, perhaps you know you're hoping that there will be a reconciliation between you and a family member who you're estranged from and the the the, the advice is um similar you know they haven't decided whether they want to come forth as yet they're still deciding that but you will receive a message from them after you you've waited and unhoped for it for a long time and uh, set your intention here. Um, it requires patience. It requires a lot of patience in this situation. And um, yeah, uh, but you will you will hear from them ultimately. And I'm not advising that you stay in this and wait for this. Uh, I'm just suggesting. I'm just telling you that what I he what I see is that what where the differentiation is is that you will be uh, waiting for this for a, a while. Okay. Um, as well as the fact that I don't see a foresee a reconciliation at this point, but that may change in the future. So that's it for those of you who've chosen uh, this first deck here. And uh, for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking is, can I trust my intuition in this matter? Can I trust my intuition here? Okay, so in this situation, I want to say the answer is no. Um, the reason for that is because you are, it seems like you're waiting for a message. You're waiting for the post to arrive. 
you're waiting for uh, somebody to bring you a happy message and um, it's something that you're expecting to happen quite soon and you're hoping that this changes things you're hoping that as a result that you, you travel or you you move to meet this person or you, you move um, countries or homes or that they come to visit you they make an effort to pack their bags and come to see you or to journey towards you on some level and this might mean that they just take the bus from the last stop to you um, or it could mean that they have to travel continents to see you but this is what you're expecting you're expecting your intuition is telling you that you have this letter uh, that's going to come that soon you're going to have this message uh, perhaps not a letter perhaps it's a whatsapp message uh, or a text message or an email and you are expecting that this will change things it will move things it'll bring you together on some level because one or two of you one or both of you will be traveling to each other um, but you also are unsure of that you're unsure of the um uh, the, yeah of whether this person's going to be faithful to you you're unsure of whether they um you know they can maintain a consistency you are unsure of whether they can be there for you in the way that you're hoping to be for, for them to be so there is this hope here this expectation or the, your intuition is telling you that this is going to happen but in fact um you you're expecting that to happen but at the same time you recognize that um if it does happen it might actually not be in your best interest because perhaps this person's been uh, unfaithful to you in the past or perhaps they've just not been consistent they just maybe come and go and they're not clear or maybe they hot and cold maybe they uh, sometimes are really nice and sometimes not and, and you don't really know where you stand with them so you're aware of that and you're trying not to get your hopes up too high in this situation um yeah or you're trying not to yeah you're trying not to get your hopes up too high in the situation and this could uh you know be in a work scenario or any other scenario it doesn't have to be in love it could be that you're waiting to hear some news which will uh, enable you to travel or to move but you recognize that you know it might not happen well what i'm seeing here is that uh the, the truth of the matter is is that there's going to be a huge ending or a huge transformation and after that there's a huge blockage it's really hard to get beyond this mountain it's really hard to trudge a to go on from here so i'm seeing that there's an there's an abundance of that it's it's going to happen um you know you with quite a lot of force so uh the other way of reading it this is to say that well this person is going to uh this person's going to come forth and offer you something you know as you're expecting or hopefully uh you're suddenly waiting for it there uh, but actually this is a card of death here and this in fact uh, shows a transformation it doesn't really mean death um, as an actual death it means uh, just a transformation or an ending um, and I'm reading it here as an ending because that was the first feeling I got when I picked up this card sometimes I pick up this card and I know that it's not an ending I know that it's just a transformation it's sometimes also for me it can be the beginning of something new but here I don't feel that's the case because not only did I not feel it but I also got this card as confirmation that um, it's a really difficult path ahead it's a really really strenuous journey and so I feel that uh, your intuition this part of your intuition here is perhaps um, correct uh, so whatever whatever you have in your in your mind that th that's you know sometimes maybe you think oh uh, this is fear and I should put it put it away for me um, well because I don't want to you know give rise to my fear I don't want to manifest my fear well this is actually your you're being cautious in this regard is actually of value to you because this is actually not going to go anywhere um, I don't see this person coming to you I don't see a letter coming to you I feel like you're waiting for it but it actually doesn't happen but having said that you have many riches that lie before you 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 have many riches that are at your feet you have all that you need in your life to be able to do whatever you want to do with it and um, you, you don't need this person in fact and a, a, a breakup or an ending here um, because of the difficulties or because of itself just because in itself may be a really difficult path 
for you. But at the same time, uh, you won't be losing these riches that you have. You you have far more to lose uh, if you if you wait and if you uh, nurse this intuition of yours here, expecting something, hoping to go on a voyage. But if you just you know recognize what you have before you here, and you allow this ending to take place in a in a more um, um, not in a harmonious way, but rather in a natural way, not in an organic way, where it just kind of unfolds naturally, uh, you will find that you don't need to uh, be faced with this difficult path here, this mountain that's ahead of you. So um, in other words, to summarize, basically, I uh, feel that your intuition is leading you astray in this regard. Uh, I don't believe it's intuition because in my belief, actually, and intuition is never uh, wrong because I work only with my intuition. So um, when the subscriber asked me to do this reading, I was like, oh, how does that actually work? My intuition, I always trust my intuition. It always serves me. How do I, you know, know, how, how do I answer this? Or how do I go about this reading? So um, I, I believe it's not your intuition. I believe it's wishful thinking, you know. And so it's, this is, it's your wishful thinking. I believe that your intuition here... This is your intuition. It's warning you of this. And it's it's trying to keep you away from this. And sometimes you may think, oh, why am I being so negative? But actually, you're not being negative. Yeah, this is, your, it's not a fear that you have. It's it's actually uh, a caution. Yeah. So don't throw your caution to the wind. That's my the best advice or uh, message from this reading here. So uh, moving on to the last deck here. Yeah, for those of you who've chosen this particular deck, the question we're asking today is, is my intuition on point with regard to this particular matter? Or can I trust my intuition with regard to this particular matter? Is my intuition in sync with the truth in this particular matter? Right, so are we asking once again for a clarification? What is that that you really can trust in? This is almost exactly the same. Do you see that? Here we have a house. Uh, this is um, indoors, a domestic situation. Um, and uh, it's not exactly the same meaning, the cards, but um, it's, it's very similar indeed. All right. And here we have both a letter. And here we have a woman, though. And we have some kind of turmoil. Uh, uh, yeah, something that happens that is not so good i do feel that this is here your intuition is on point okay what you're expecting will come to pass i do however feel that it's going to be much better for you than you actually realize because right now you know you're in a state where you're um, expecting there to be a bit of fire a bit of difficulty a bit of conflict uh some upheaval and um yeah just not you're not expecting it to be as as good or you're expecting it to be quite difficult but um what you're hoping for and what you're expecting will actually um, come to pass as is shown here. And you will be in a situation where you're stronger, where you're more confident, where you're lucky, where you are proud, where you are able to step forth with a certain sense of uh, uh, surety or certainty about you, what you are receiving. So uh, there's uh, like quite literally this is a message about a house that she's receiving and it's a good message. And, um, you know, so and here there's a space that's burning. There's a letter about also a house. It could also refer to somebody uh, who works in a house. Uh, it could also refer to a domestic environment. Um, so basically, um, 
this is a very similar uh, look that you have here and I want to say absolutely go ahead uh, believe in your intuition um, trust in it it is actually coming um, true and um, yeah and, and it's not going to be as bad as you're expecting it to be you're going to be fine you're going to be actually better than you thought you were going to be in this situation so yeah I'd just like to thank all of you for coming by if any of you had this question aside from my subscriber um, yeah it is an interesting uh, question and I think that very often we do uh, or perhaps one can be prone to um, believing what you want to believe um, and so it's much better when you when you can get a confirmation of it from somewhere else and so you're not just imagining things and telling yourself things but get a confirmation and I hope this reading has been helpful uh, in some way leave your comments down below so that uh, you give me some feedback with regard to this okay well uh, many thanks and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising